Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. How are you all? I hope you're all well. Um, so I've got some news. I am now filming with a camera on the Canon G7X. I've upped my game. Do you know what I mean? I thought, right, if you want, if you enjoy this, if you want to be filming, if you want to put content out there, then you've got to put content out there that you know, people are going to enjoy and the quality is going to be good. So, because I want you to follow my hairdressing journey in college, I thought I need to get a camera and that's what I've done. So, I hope that um, the quality is good and everything is much better for you and the sound. And this is a new journey and I want you to come along with me. So, if you are new here, hi, my name's Holly and I'd love for you to join the family. And if you are returning, thank you ever so much for your support. Here we go. Okay, so it is up. The operation sort Mahala's bedroom out. Um, as you can see, I've started moving the wardrobes and everything already. Um, but as it stands, her bed is by the window um, and a TV there. But I don't know, I'm just not, I don't know, I'm just not feeling it by the especially by the window um obviously i usually close that and lock it um but she's out on the trampoline at the moment that there is to give to another little girl a boy because she had that when she's a newborn like really big unicorns and she's got two that's a rug in my bedroom i don't use anymore um yeah so i'm thinking do i put the bed with the headboard there so obviously the window is covered with the headboard and put it along here and obviously move that or do I put the bed with the headboard up there along here that kitchen I'm giving away as well so that'll make more space so do I have the bed along there there'll be space by here with the wardrobe by there Keep the chest of drawers by there and the shelves there. See that's then going. Got all this space by here. Um, and then she's got like bookshelves and that there in that wall. I just think it'll be just think it'll be much better. So here we go, we'll give it a go. situations so now to have a jiggle when trying to put the bed over there
Monday evening and I'm being really quiet because Margaret's in bed but the weather is absolutely amazing outside. I need to show you. Here we go. How amazing. I got my candles lit. I've opened up my blinds. Good morning, it is Saturday morning. I'm here with Marla, who really wants to be on camera. Um, my hairdresser is just on her way now to do my hair. The last time I had my hair done was June. Um, so it's not too bad considering, but obviously... Right, no, Mummy's holding it. So, Lauren's on her way to come and do my hair now. Um, I will check with her, but I'll see if I can film her doing the hair. through the smoke You created my feet on the ground and I'm shaking How am I supposed to save the situation While the stuff's getting wasted even though we feel the same I've just pulled up now for college and I thought what a good time to do a Q&A that you all done with me over on Instagram. It was only a short Q&A so I thought right let's just get it done now. I just thought let's get it done now when I've got a chance and when we've got a time to do it. Let me just get the questions up. So as I had a few questions up on Instagram, so I thought now is the time and I'll just answer them before I go into my hair course. So the first one I got was favourite place to go on holiday. Now, this is a tricky one. Well, this is a tricky one, but it's not. But obviously due to COVID and other things, I haven't been, I couldn't even tell you the last time I went on holiday. But... I will say a childhood memory of mine and I used to go every year if it wasn't Spain it was Tenerife now my parents would always take me and my sister to Tenerife every year and my memories of holidays are all from Tenerife and I don't think it was it would be somewhere I would take my daughter now obviously things have changed haven't they a lot and I don't know if I'd feel I wouldn't say I, do, do I know if I'd feel safe over there but I don't know I think the world has changed a lot over the years and yeah but my favorite place to go on holiday I would say is Tenerife for memory reasons another question I got was what made you start YouTube a lot of people who I've come into contact with on Instagram have asked me this and the truth is I was gonna start a YouTube channel back in 2019 and I did start videos documenting it no one knows that but I did start videos documenting it and Marley wasn't even a year old and I wasn't in a good place mentally to be honest with you so I didn't upload them and I didn't carry on with it and it is something um that obviously I've always wanted to do because I love editing videos I love chatting to people on the platforms we've got such as Instagram 
and to be honest i didn't know too much about youtube and then when it was locked down we had more time on our hands and i came across youtube youtubers and started watching their videos and i could relate to a lot of them and i was like this is the sort of thing i'm interested in this is the sort of thing that i want to put out to the world i think if you've got a platform um You've got to wait for your voice to be heard, haven't you? And I believe in so many things when it comes to the law of attraction and positive thinking, and mental health, or things like that. And I love vlogging. I was vlogging a lot on Instagram and I didn't even realise I was doing YouTube on Instagram. I was doing like days in the life, day in my life. And I was like, if I was going to the dentist, I would literally be going to the dentist and taking you through the corridors and into the dentist room. And I was doing YouTube without even knowing it so and obviously as you know on instagram you can only film snippets at a time and you can't edit so it's much better for me to be on instagram because i can do days in the life week in the life month in the life and edit it all down add music and when i was in school i done media and i loved it and i think i've got a b in media studies in school and then i went on to college to performing arts and a lot of that course was editing and filming i just loved it back then but then obviously i went down a different route and it's just interesting to think like if i'd gone down the roads that i was interested in back then where would i be now but it's never too late you know i'm in my 30s it's never too late to do what you want to do so the next question i got was right i got a question on here from my mum and she is so funny that she's put do you dye your hair oh. miss coombs of course I dye my hair. Look like, do I look like a girl who doesn't dye their hair? Mum, you're so funny. Another question I had on here was, how do you find time for yourself and what do you like doing? Finding time for myself is difficult when you've got, when you've got a toddler, but I find that my time to myself is when she goes to bed and i at the moment as she goes to bed i plan youtube videos or have a pamper night or i watch married at first sight um the married at first sight australia has started on tv and i am hooked so anyone who hasn't watched it i suggest you watch it because it's just such good watching and you'll find you'll watch one episode it's one of those that you find if you watch one episode you're watching two episodes and then you're watching three episodes before you know it, it's like 12 o'clock at night and you've got to get up at six o'clock with your toddler and it's not good but yeah so how do you find time for yourself and what do you like doing um this sounds really really bizarre but i love driving in my car with the tunes on and find time for myself as well is the hairdressing course i'm doing um obviously the hairdressing course is two nights a week so i come and i'm training as a hairdresser and it's doing something i've wanted to do for years i've wanted to do hairdressing since i was 19 it was on my mind and then whenever i go into salons or whenever i go into places i always feel like that's where i should be and I get a buzz out of thinking about booking my own appointments and being in control of my own life and as I've got older my mindset's gone a different way and better I think I'm ready and oh yeah I'm going off track now what's your favorite movie and why I've got a few favorite movies but I will say that one stands in my mind for me and my sister is Dirty Dancing and you would have seen from a previous vlog that I went and saw Dirty Dancing in the outdoor cinema with my mum and sister and Dirty Dancing is such a sentimental film now because whenever my grandpa and my nan would babysit me and my sister we would always watch Dirty Dancing on a Sunday night when they were babies that they would come down with pick a mix and we would put Dirty Dancing on and we would dance and sing with them and I'd get my gramp like we'd fall from the sofa you'd do the jump into my gramp and now more than ever now he's not here anymore is is even more so my favorite film so there's a few different ones like another one I can think of is Grease that's one of my favorite films and then it goes on to other things like sleeping with the enemy things like that but obviously at this moment in time the one that sticks in my mind is just dancing another one i had is where are you from um i'm not sure if my accent gives it a bit away but people say i don't sound welsh though i'm from south wales near cardiff um 
I grew up in a small little town just outside of Cardiff of Penarth. That's where all my family are from as well. And a lot of people, when I used to work in customer service, I'd been on the phone, they'd be really shocked. They've been really shocked that my accent isn't very Welshy. I'm looking down on my phone now because it's 25 past five and I've got to go into college. Um, so I have got a few more questions um, on here. So I will update this Q&A. But um, for now, I am going to go into college and I've got an exam on Thursday. So tonight we're practicing on each other, shampooing, blow drying. And do you know what? It's nerve wracking, even though um i enjoy blow drying i know what i'm doing it's absolutely nerve-wracking and i think also being in my 30s and being back in college after being out of training for so long it's bloody nerve-wracking and you know it's it's taken a lot to do it but i'm gonna stick at it and it's something that i want to qualify in and do again i'm babbling so i am going to go um i need to get my kits and go into college now gonna get my kit actually okay so i've got my bag full of my stuff it's quite nippy actually so i'm gonna put my cardigan on i've got nerves i've got real bad nerves My home is you. My home is you.